Hi everybody and welcome to exercise one on page 39 of the workbook. And this is an example of just giving us two formulas for functions, seeing if we can find the derivative using our list of shortcut formulas. Okay, let's start with part A here. So function they give us is f of x equals x cubed plus the square root of x plus three. We might start by just rewriting this function a little bit. So the square root of x can be rewritten as x to the one half power. That's a form that makes it a little bit easier to figure out what derivative rule we want to use. Okay, plus three. And so what would the derivative of this be? Let's look at this one term at a time. Okay, well, if you start with x cubed, notice that that's x to a constant power. The n is equal to three. So we're going to use the power rule on that. Okay, and remember how the power rule works. We're going to take that 3 and we're going to bring it down and then multiply by x to the 2 because 2 is the power you get if you, if you subtract 1 from 3. So 3x squared and then x to the 1 half, same deal. We're raising x to a constant power and so that's going to be the power rule. So we'll bring the 1 half down, 1 half x, subtract 1 from the power that's going to be 1 half minus 1. You might be able to do that in your head, and that's okay. And then what happens if you take the derivative of 3? Well, 3 is a constant, so its derivative is just going to be 0. All right, so if we put all this together, we're going to get 3x squared plus 1 half x. And then what do you get if you take 1 half and subtract 1? Okay, you might be able to do that in your head, but just in case... It might help. I'm going to write that out a little bit more detailed. 1 half minus 1, if we get a common denominator, is 1 half minus 2 halves. And so it's really 1 minus 2 over 2, which is negative a half. Okay, that's the new power that we're going to get. All right, and at this step, I believe we're done with our derivative. We're just going to get f prime of x is 3x squared plus a half x to the minus a half. Okay. Let's move on to part B here then. Okay, so in part B, they give us a function that looks like 3x to the 7 plus 7 times 3 to the x. Okay, well, if we look at this term by term. We've got, we've got a 3 out in front. That's a constant that's multiplied by something. So think of taking the 3 and factoring it out and then just multiplying by the derivative of x to the seventh. And we can do the same thing in the second term. We've got a seven times a three to the x. So think of factoring the seven out and just multiplying by the derivative of three to the x. Okay, and to finish, we need to take the derivative of these two functions here and here. Let's start with x to the seventh. Okay, well again, that's x raised to a constant power of 7, and so we can use the power rule to take that derivative. So power rule tells us we're going to bring the 7 down and multiply by x to the 6. So bring the power down, subtract 1 from the exponent. 3 times 7x to the 6th. Okay, and then we come to the derivative of 3 to the x. Okay, now that's a different formula. Okay, 3 raised to the x, the x is not constant, so which derivative formula applies in that situation? Well, you can look at your list of formulas and hopefully notice that this goes with formula number 3. The formula for the derivative of an exponential function. And that one looks like a to the x ln of a. In our case, a is 3, so we're going to get 3 to the x ln of 3 for that derivative. Okay, and let's see, just doing a little simplifying here. We could maybe rewrite that like this. Okay, and that would be our derivative.